the truck doesn't smash against the wall of the truck. So dunnage bags are fairly inexpensive. But uh, John and Wuma, our Solar Cities intern, uh, made them, fitted them with this outfit so that they could be used as biogas bags. And so that's really cool to have. Thank you, John, for that. And so we've got this one filled up with gas from the home biogas system. Follow the board over here. And there it is over there. The reason we did that is because the gas bag that came with this um, was defective. And that sometimes happens in manufacturing. This is the bag that's normal inside there. And it had a uh, some kind of uh, leak or something. So we've taken this out. And normally you would take that out from the zipper that is under here. There is a zipper in here along the side, but it's very hard to get out. So what I've done is I've made a cut here, which I'm going to have to put a new zipper in up on the top here because that makes it easier. And I took the bag out. There's the normal bag, the original bag. And I've put a dunnage bag in here. And so you can see that's what John fixed up into the dunnage bag on this one, a different fitting here. Very simple. And I had to then use a hose coming into a valve, then getting into the part that came with the home biogas unit here with a clamp. And then I've put a valve here and I have a valve down here. Now this one is what's going out to the other bag and off to the cook stove, right? But uh, the gas comes here. So the gas comes up. You can hear it bubbling. The gas comes up here, goes through the filter, and then goes down this tube. And now it's running up here. Normally this would be hooked up right to the bag, right into this part here. But we've removed that because of the damage. So while you're waiting for the replacement bag, as we are, if you run into this situation, you can just get a dunnage bag from anywhere. And it's just a dunnage bag, 36 by 84 inches dunnage air bag. And hook up a valve to it. And then you can do that. And then, uh, so I have it so I can valve off and just have the gas going into this dunnage bag. Or I can have the gas, I can open that valve and have it go off to the other bag that's way over there. And then I will get a zipper and I'll put the zipper onto here, which I think would be a much better design anyway, because if this happens, you'd be able to get in and out of this. And then I'll put my sandbags, which are in a mess on the floor there, back into the pockets here and here to wait to put the weight down onto it once uh, once it's full, once we check that it's, it's filled. So I think this would be really great for future models to have the zipper here rather than under here. It is really, really hard. I struggled with it to get that zipper down there and to get the bag out you have to take off all the gas all the all of the uh, sandbag weights and then try to get the bag out uh, without further damaging the bags but the bag here was defective so we're waiting for the replacement but in the meantime we're getting our gas and so that's the hack that i've done and it could be made uh, i could make it a little easier by making this shorter but this works for me for now and we're definitely getting our gas finally really getting the unit working and then as a side effect, I thought you might want to see that I've, I've run a hose, this little hose here, into a volunteer avocado tree. So when I get spillover underneath the chaya that I planted here, and chaya or Mexican tree spinach is a really good plant that winter really damaged this, but it doesn't matter. It'll grow back pretty robustly. But underneath the chaya, an avocado pit that I just threw when I was taking out the garbage, an avocado pit made this, actually two avocado pits, I guess, because I have two avocado trees and they're doing really well because they're getting the effluent right out of the home biogas system, which is pouring directly onto them and shaded by the chaya as a sort of mother of avocado tree. And I have another chaya here and another volunteer avocado here. So the area around your home biogas unit, uh, I need to make mine prettier, of course, but we've been away, so. But the area around it can be absolutely the most resplendent and fertile part of the property, which is really cool. But once again, yes, a dunnage bag works as a good hack till you get your replacement bag. Um, so you never have to skip having time. I think that the, obviously the Mylar bags that uh, Home Biogas supplies are better than the dunnage bags. They are gonna last a lot longer, um, but the dunnage bag will suffice for now. And you can always get a few spares 
so that when your home biogas system is completely full, then you can have another bag ready to go. And because of the valves I've put in, then you have uh, always have two bags going, or three, or four, and that uh, that makes it work. All right, thanks for watching.